All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we got another product review in store. Again, I'm just gonna try and do my best to get these reviews out. Life has gotten a little bit busy on my end. I'll update you guys in another vid about what's been happening, but in general, it's busy. I'm gonna do my best to get you guys more content in the sense that you guys have something to reference if you guys are in the market for like just trying new products and stuff. So today we got a product from the Forte series. So this is gonna be a product from Alex Costa. You guys might know him just from like general men's fashion and just blogging and lifestyle stuff. But today's video is gonna be focusing on the hairstyling cream. Next time we got their just traditional pomade, which is this one. Not that that gives you guys a lot of like <laughs> info, but today we'll be taking a look at the hair styling cream. I figured this is a good time to showcase this product right now, just because my hair is, I'd say about a medium to like long length before it gets too long for like a medium weight product, which is most hair styling creams. So we're going to be doing the usual. I'm going to take a look at the design of the jar, initial application process, my initial thoughts on it. We'll go ahead and get throughout the day. And then finally, my final thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at design of the jar. So when you guys receive your product, it's going to come in this small cardboard box of basically all the labeling. They do separate a lot of what the product is about. So here's a word from Alex Costa, what the Forte series hair styling cream. Uh, we have more basically information about how to use this product, step-by-step -step tutorials, and then ingredients as well. So on a very arbitrary grading scale, we have hold for two out of three, a shine one out of three, and a texture two out of three. I don't know what that compares it to, but I just know that compared to the pomade, this has less shine and less texture. So we'll go ahead and do the application process and you guys can kind of judge for yourself what that kind of grading scale is gonna be like. So. When you guys do open the product or the box itself, you'll see that here's an important tip, just more information on how to utilize the product to its like best capabilities. Again, not much on the actual jar itself. They do separate a lot of like, essentially what the ingredients, the directions on applying the product and basically everything you would need to know other than the actual name of the product. So again, it's gonna be a three ounce plastic container. We'll have white on top. I think this is all printed on. So it's not a sticker label of any sorts. Everything's just printed directly onto the jars. Very clean in that sense. When you guys open the jar, it's gonna come with this, I don't even know what, what this thing is called, but it basically seals everything in place. Opening up the jar, you'll see the product looks very creamy which is very consistent seeing how it's a hair styling cream scooping it out it's super easy so very consistent on what we typically see essentially how a cream presents so let's go ahead and do the application process and see what we get when you guys open the jar you're going to get a whiff of like a very fresh fragrance um I don't know exactly what to compare it to, but it reminds me of like the 1950s um, pomades. It has like that very fresh, fragrant, almost like a light sense of cologne to it as well. Um, almost along the lines of like a deodorant or like a body spray, it's like very, in a way like strong, but not like too overpowering. So we'll see how that kind of, <laughs> works out when we do apply a little bit more product. So spreading it around, it does break down super easily like a cream should. So, so far so good in terms of how, how this product has in a way met expectations. So initially you wanna start off with like a nickel to a quarter size scoop, depending on how much hair you have. So, I'm probably gonna apply another dime size amount just to kind of get things going. But that's gonna be a quarter size scoop. It's a very loose, medium type of hold initially. We'll see what we get with another scoop. It's 
so. Yeah, the scent isn't too crazy, so it's definitely on the side of like being more of a fresh kind of cologne, but not too strong where I'm going to be like getting a headache later on. So with a cream, I'm probably going to go with a finger styling just because it's not going to be a very slick product. Um, it does present a two out of three texture, which I don't understand completely but we do get medium hold medium shine and medium texture so or not medium shine low shine so I guess you can refer to that as low medium high in terms of a scale so just gonna make sure everything is combed out have a lot of strays this will help kind of control that and then we'll go ahead and finish that with the looser kind of styling. Woo. There we go. So, as you guys can see, the shine is very low. We don't get a ton of shine. The hold is definitely a medium hold. It does feel very loose in my hair right now. Um, my prediction is that things will kind of break down throughout the day, but it is flexible of a product where you, I feel like you can easily restyle it. It's not like a super dry product where if you do mess with it too much, things will kind of get messed up. Right now, things are held up pretty well, so it's loose enough where I feel like comfortable going throughout the day without being too worried that things will completely fall out of place. Um, right now, we do get a decent amount of volume. Not too crazy though, but that could be attributed to how heavy my hair feels right now. Um, overall, very clean. Right off the bat, super medium hold, very low shine, scent isn't too crazy. And texture, we get I say a very standard amount of texture just because it's not a super dry product, but at the same time, it's not a super slick product. Basically right in the middle for everything minus the shine. So let's go ahead and get throughout the day. Um, today I've got a bit of work, going to be meal prepping and then finally get back to this review and finish things up. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and wrap things up. I do realize me wearing this Patagonia fuzzy fest does make me look like a Silicon Valley tech bro, but I do dig the aesthetic. Can't complain. So to start things off or to just end things, we do see volume has decreased throughout the day. We're at about hour seven volume. I'd say is like essentially gone. My hair is just kind of being held up by whatever medium hold we have left of the product with medium holds historically my hair has never really stayed in place like completely throughout the day things do diminish within like three to four hours it's usually i need a super strong product or a product that's dry enough to kind of hold things down or even a product that's like heavy enough to kind of hold things back whatever the case i just need a way like stronger product if i do want to expect things to last basically like a solid 12 hour day with a medium weight product like this hair styling cream that wasn't really my expectation and this is what we got um i do dig like the looser kind of look we do get the ability to, to restyle it's not a super dry product so that's always a benefit with creams with paste that's going to be a different story but with a cream from my understanding there's just a little bit more flexibility and like pliability that you're able to remold and reshape your hair how you want with a medium hold for my type of hair i'm not going to get like the same amount of volume the same amount of control that we got in the beginning but luckily i still get the amount of like i guess slickness and just i don't know the i don't even know how to term it just basically a good portion of what we had initially i'm still able to style my hair clean things up pretty nicely so overall the scent has diminished to like basically nothing at this point definitely not overpowering from the beginning it's 
definitely on the stronger side, but it's not subtle. It's it's a little bit strong. Just leave it at that. Uh, rinseability, I would say a good shampoo would basically get everything out. Water, I'd say get a, gets about 80 to 90% of it. You still get a little bit of like that oil residue or buildup that you would get, but nothing that's like grease heavy where it's just like you need two to three shampoos to get it out. So overall, pretty pleasantly surprised by this medium weight hair styling cream. Next time we're gonna be taking a look at the pomade, which hopefully is a stronger product. It is advertised to be. So that does seem a bit more promising in terms of like what I typically go for. If you're on the medium type of hair, just throughout every aspect of hair styling, this product could suit you pretty well. For me, it could be stronger, but with what I'm getting now, I'm not disappointed by any means. So if you guys want to check it out, hop on his site, code the pump saves you 10% on orders $50 or more. So there you guys have it. That's going to be the hair styling cream, the hair styling cream from the Forte series. Catch you guys next time.